Welcome back to another One Punch Man to review today's episode two. I'm Justin. What is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Couch Talk. As always, we're anime viewers only, no source material. And we're gonna discuss the episode and go over scores at the end. You ready to get on into this? I'm ready. Let's do this. Yeah, so starting off hot in this episode with a uh, creepy man Garo down here who <clears throat> self proclaimed uh, monster cider. Yeah, he, uh, first of all, he's pretty strong. <laughs> Second of all, yeah. he's not really a, well, I don't want to say he's not a villain, because he is a villain, but he's not, like, he separates himself from the other bad guys, but. Yeah, because, like he says, he, he's Team Monster, so. Which is strange. Yeah, it's not like if the monster came, you could. I doubt they would just let you side with them. I <laughs> right. I I feel like it's more like uh, I'm on my own. Like I'm consider me like a monster event thing, like demon god, like whatever. Yeah, and well, he decides to have a massacre party and slaughter everyone in there, even the the A rank heroes that were in there. They didn't see the change. It was pretty like gory bloody yeah i mean if they would uh at least if they could show actual action happening within all this actual action throughout the episode but it's all just still frame like after still frame or what i don't yeah uh, the action is just i don't know how to describe it it's just the animation is definitely never feels good it's being amplified like the poor quality is being amplified which i feared because i said like one punch man like the season one was built on incredible action sequences which was the appeal to it right and then you take that away you lose the appeal to it because it's like oh i'm here for the action mostly but the action is not so great right it it's i mean there's a later fight where it's definitely like you can tell it's like wow they kind of dropped the ball, which is unfortunate. Yeah, but otherwise, you know, Garo says, oh, he'll return in six months when he's stronger. But then again, later in the episode, he's just killing, like, Still the, killing the people. Rank <laughs> and it's like, oh, I thought you were going to return later. It's like, you're going to train by killing people for six months because then you're not really leaving. Like, what are you returning to? It's like, right. And we have number three, Silver Fang, going after him for the S-Rank. So we'll see how that goes when they actually interact later. It did kind of open up like a, a a story now, I guess you could say, or like a plot line because he's clearly very strong. Like he's kind of just straight up washing these A-Ranks with ease. Like, I mean, he even says it himself. He's like, oh, I thought you'd be stronger. So, it kind of seems it's going to build up to, you know, maybe Saitama has to deal with them, or at least some S-Ranks have to deal with them. Yeah, because we'll find out for sure when Silver Fang runs into him. Because if he beats Silver Fang, the number three S-Ranker, then you're, then some shit's going to be real. Yeah. Um, Well, yeah, we can go back to the the rest of the episode, really, which is, uh, first we have Sonic... And Genos kind of having their off-screen fight. <laughs> right. And then Lady Blizzard shows up to harass Saitama and basically turn, you know, her, her thing is factions and just gaining power that way. Yeah. Um, uh, didn't quite work. <laughs> she is also the sister of Tornado, which... Yeah, I, which I, is... When I first saw her, I was like, she's giving off a really similar vibe and i was like oh they're related okay <laughs> that makes sense yeah so but she's obviously nowhere near as good as tornado so yikes obviously saitama he doesn't join factions he doesn't care he's just you know he's yeah he doesn't care but he ranks. defines it himself what a true hero is yeah like, basically you're not gonna care you're you're gonna save you're gonna show up when you need to be like you're not doing it for your own gain or anything like that. Like, again, like even earlier in the episode, Jonas says other people are reporting his deeds probably because 
you know, he's just killing the <laughs> monsters. He's not reporting it because he doesn't care. Yeah, he's just doing it. He's like, whatever. I just do this. It, it is kind of, it kind of shows like the hero world or they care a lot about status. Because even she brought it up, like the guy, the number one in class rank A who kind of, you know, he kind of just blocks off everybody from going up. So it is kind of strange that they like care so much about their status. And I mean, Saitama's just like, I'm just, you know, yeah, doing it's the right thing. Definitely different from like, like my hero academia, right? Where they are ranked as well, but they're actually being heroes and stuff. Whereas this one, it's more like they're not quite that hero status for a lot of them. They're more of the, they just want the status and the power kind of thing. Right. Because, like, there's a lot of, like, infighting. There's got these factions and stuff. It's not like they actually care to protect people. Yeah, they just... It, it is a bit strange. I wonder if it'll be more prevalent throughout this season. I'd assume so, since we kind of brought it up. But who knows? Yeah, but obviously, Blizzard, not able to touch. Sorry about <laughs> so, uh, and, of course, uh, Sonic and Genesis end up interfering... Or, Genesis, you know, <laughs> they end up interfering with the fight... Yeah, they uh, uh, fight their way all the way back to the starting point. This is where the... Okay, this this fight is where the animation kind of... You can see the huge differences. Like, it's a bunch of, like, weird cuts with still frames and stuff. It's it's very... I don't know. It, it could be so much better. Like, It just doesn't feel smooth ever, like... They'll use like one ability and then like they'll drag that out like that scene like really long time like when he shoots right. that like laser or whatever and Sonic dodges it and it's like slow mo and it's just like keeps on going and it's like yeah same with like when Saitama did his move his little back and forth move it showed him and then it just cut to Sonic like lost I was like okay it, yeah they don't actually show the impact of anything right they kind of just show the moves and then they cut to what happened really quick or something it's kind of it's so weird it's so different from season one it's honestly disappointing it's, it, uh, yeah it's very disappointing if i'm being honest like if you took season one animation put it on this episode i'd be like holy shit that was a great ass episode but i'm like I, I enjoyed the episode but i didn't like love the episode or anything like Oh, yeah, that's it. I just, I it's just wish problem. it was better. It's, it's a huge problem. Of course, Blizzard gets to see this whole life of Saitama. It's just like he's got all these people around him. It's like, you know, this S rank calling him master. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm his disciple. She's like, what's going on here? Right. It's like, he's beating this guy who clearly could be an S rank. Yeah. And then we got King coming in, <laughs> and it's like, you know, she was talking like, oh, you'll, how are you going to move up when these people are high rank? And then you got King, who's like the best, and then King just walks in. Like, you got my game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I may have may have been leader, save. <laughs> Man, she is very warped into the position. Because she even, she even addresses like, I can't even believe an S class is even, you know, a, hanging out or talking to a B class. It's like she sees anyone below her class just like subhuman to her or like below them. It's yeah, kinda... well, it is kind of, I mean, it's probably kind of treated that way for most part because like we've seen like some of the S ranks not even acknowledge a lot of other people. Right. Uh, Especially... Top A rank obviously doesn't acknowledge anyone really under him either. And it's like. Right. They're not really like, yeah, they're like heroes, but they're not like good like celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I get, yeah, I feel like it. And of course, we finally get our hero names: Janos, Demon Cyborg. <laughs> he and has a cool bald. name. Yeah, it is cool. And then we got Bald Cape. <laughs> bald Cape. I'm sure Saitama's yeah, gonna that's, be like, that's why the, the hell? Is... <laughs> what a lame that's, ass name. That's the best thing. Oh, well, he's bald and he has a cape. Bald cape, bald cape, <laughs> and demon side. I'm like, dude, that's that one's actually legit. Bald cape is you put like ten seconds of thought into that one. 
Oh god. Maybe they'll give him a better one when he gets up higher in rank or not. I don't Hopefully. know. Probably not. He's stuck with that. Um That's basically it. Yeah, that is it. You wanna jump into scores? <clears throat> sure. I will say I'll say a seven. I did enjoy it more than the first episode. I did like how there is kind of like I at least know the direction we're going, which is good. I do think it set up some neat things. It's just I mean the animation is gonna I don't like to fault things for stuff like that unless it's atrocious. But like comparatively and then when comparatively to season one and not only that but like the fact that that's a lot of the appeal like is the awesome fight scenes it kind of just it's very detrimental to like the overall quality it, it just sucks yeah it does suck a lot i'm gonna give it a six i do think story wise this is a little more interesting than really anything in the first season i guess like normally it's just oh here's a monster we'll kill it whatever and plot and story's never been like a big thing to one right. punch man at least to me at least here with uh garo it seems like it could be interesting uh, again, though the action was what I, it's what everyone cares about in this, and then here we go, we got this. Yeah, there's action going on, but at the same time, there is no action going on, and right. it's, like, it's not as pleasant to watch. And you know, if that continues, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough ride. Yeah, I agree. And really, this is the first time where now they have to rely on the story and plot and stuff because yeah, the action's not there. I feel like if here, if you put it this way, I feel like if season one was animated how this season is animated, it wouldn't nearly be as popular. Oh no, not at all. Because people would be like, "Ugh, <laughs> it doesn't look good," <laughs> which I wouldn't blame them because it doesn't look good. Well, yeah, that's it. That is it. Spiel time. As always, if you don't want to be. At the massacre party, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Unless you want to be there, then still hit it. Uh, <laughs> let us know what you thought we did, like anything like that. And until next time, peace out. See ya.